All right, guys, welcome back. Today, uh, I just want to do a little test, and I want to do it on the back window of my wife's car. So what I want to do is I want to apply these four products. Basically, they're SiO2 waterless wash products. Now, if you want to break them down into some type of rinse list, that's up to you, but these come as waterless wash products. We've got Adams CS3, you just, it comes like this, or you, I've got a gallon, you pour it in there, ready to use. I've got Hyper Cleans Echo One, it's a ready to use. I've got the Jersey Devil from Extreme Solutions, ready to use. And I've got Tax Systems Aqua Waterless. Now, I've got a gallon of this, it's ready to use. So I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna get rid of this, whatever's in here, and I'm gonna put some of this straight into here. I normally don't like to use this straight, it's too strong, and uh, you can dilute this. So I'm not sure if you guys want me to use it like that, but I'm, since I'm using these as they come, I'm gonna empty this one out and use it as it comes. All right, so these will be the four that I'm gonna put on the back glass. I wanna see, how the hydrophobics are of them and I want to see the dusting effect of these products and we'll feel the slickness of them and uh, we're gonna let it go over the next few days here now to clean the glass I think I've put maybe can coat on there from Gion so I'm gonna do a quick wash with N914 that's from McKee's that's their N914. I'm gonna do a waterless wash, clean all that back panel, the glass and everything. Once I get that clean, I'm gonna try the coating prep and I'll use a flex uh, cordless polisher. I'm gonna polish that window down. Now, if this coating prep polish doesn't get it clean, uh, in other words, the coating off of there, then I'll come in with some of the new Phoenix fabulous finishing polish. So this will be my more powerful cutting step if the coating prep uh, polish doesn't work. So let's get to this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm gonna get washing, cleaning the panels. I'll fast forward through all that, but I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so let's see. Here's some of the protection left behind from the can coat. It is just very powerful, even though I was polishing on it, it is powerful. But you can see there is a difference in where I polished. Right, right here would be the line all the way up. So you can see a huge difference in can coat over here. And after taking a pass, I mean, it's still there, it's still hydrophobic but it's gonna take more to get it off. Okay, so we're gonna step it up from the coating prep polish to the fabulous polish. Now this has abrasives, this has no abrasives, this is just chemical cleaning. So this is one that you're gonna need abrasives with, and I'm gonna put it on the Flex. All right, let me show you what I'm working with now. Now this is the can coat side. Right here we cross over into the polished section, already panel wiped. Look at the difference there. Isn't that cool? So you can totally see a difference in the polished side. So we're good there. Now we know what it's going to take to get off the can coat. Okay guys, so we've done our testing. Uh, 
The Gion can coat is super, super durable. It's hard and the McKees coating prep polish does not have abrasives. It is a chemical cleaner. So it's good for like waxes, sealants, stuff like that. But the can coat is a coating that bonds. So you do need some type of abrasive. The fabulous finishing polish from Phoenix EOD did the trick. Basically one large, nice pass and uh, cut that stuff down. So we are using the Flex and, uh, and a green coarse pad. So if you need to remove some Gion can coat, there you go. I'm gonna finish with this other side of the window. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is just water and how dry this side is compared to this. When you don't have any protection, this is what your glass does. And this side is protected. So, you know, it, it dries real fast and then the other side just stays wet. So that's the same with your paint. So that's why we need protection to help maintain and make it easy to clean the cars. All right, guys, well, I'll tell you what, the uh, Phoenix Fabulous Polish seems to have a lot of nice work time on it. I am working on tinted black glass from the inside and I don't see any dusting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's It's gotta be 80 something degrees today. It's a little bit cooler than normal. So uh, nice, nice polish there by Phoenix EOD, gotta say. We've got this all polished down. I'm gonna show you guys there's no protection on here all the way throughout. And like I said, I just did this and I forgot to hit record. So we are looking good. Water just sticking to the, to the glass. Okay, we've got the glass all cleaned and polished down. We're gonna stripe it four ways in a cross pattern and I'm gonna apply four different ceramic based uh, waterless washes ready to use style as they come on here. And then we're gonna drive this car around for a few days, bring it back and check out the effects, the hydrophobic effects, see about any dust, which one's worse and any slickness. So let's get to applying this. All right, and just so you guys can see, I need to shake this up. Cut it open. Need to open it. We've got this emptied out and I just need to put a little bit inside here. Now we've got all ready to use products. These are undiluted from the factory like this. Okay, I've got it all taped off. I'm gonna apply these four products. I think I'm gonna go in order this way. We're gonna go Jersey Devil, since it's first, CS3 second, Tax Systems third, and Echo One from HyperClean fourth. That's the way we're gonna go, and the order.
Alright guys, so what can I tell you about applying these? They all feel very slick. Now to my eye, I want to say the TAC Systems is a darker looking product just about. Um, seems to be a little darker than the rest of them. Now I've got a clean towel here. It's kind of a heavy one, so I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna see how, how it feels over each one. So this is the Jersey Devil from Extreme Solutions. Feels pretty good. This is the Tax System, super slick. This one is better, more slick than the Jersey Devil tax systems. Now let's go up to this side here. I'm going to flip this towel to a clean side. And this is the Atom CS3. I mean, that's ridiculous. See, it stops on the tape line. So that's that's super, super slick. Let me flip it over and put it on the Echo 1. Again, it stops on the tape line or it, from the tape line down, it moves. So let me go back over here. Okay, so that tells you it all. This one, the Jersey Devil is the least slick. The tax systems is the next slickest. I'm gonna say that the Boy, this is a hard one. But I'm gonna say that the Echo One is gonna come in third place, and by third place, the Atom CS3, it, I mean, uh, I'm an idiot. Fourth place is Jersey Devil. Third place is Tax Systems. Second place is Echo One. And I mean, it's a, it's a pretty close second. We've got a little more cave here, or a little more uh, angle, but I'm gonna say that the Adams CS3 is the absolute slickest. So you got one, two, three, four. These two are, are, are very close. The interesting thing is this tax system just feels so good on my hand. It actually feels better. Almost feels better than those, but it's not as slick. And it's pretty close. So it's a close third, a close second to the first. The Jersey Devil, while it feels nice, it, it doesn't hold a candle to any of the other three. Okay guys, so we're at the end of day number one uh, testing of SiO2 waterless products. And some of the newer ones I've been playing with, some of the older ones that I like. We did a waterless wash with McKee's N914. There's nothing inside that. We just washed the window down, cleaned it off. We came back with the N9, I mean with the uh, coating prep polish to see if I could just chemically remove the Gion coating that was on the glass. That's not gonna work with this product. So we had to bring in an abrasive polish. Phoenix EODs Fab 
fabulous polish. Brought out the flex and a green coarse pad. Took that Gion can coat off the windows, no problem. About one to two passes down the window. All right, that rear window. Done with that, we use the Gion Prep as our cleaner. And I showed you guys half and half or 50 50s. Uh, one window cut and polished, the other side not. You could totally tell Gion uh, is very strong. So after doing that, we used the Gion Prep, cleaned the windows off, sprayed it with some water to make sure we had full sheet of water sticking to the window. We then dried it and we taped it into fours and we went into our four waterless washes. Now all I did <clears throat> was use these ready to use from the big bottles they come in or the small bottles they come in. I didn't dilute any of them. And this is the way they come from the factory. So we've got Adam CS3, Hyperclean Echo One, Aqua Waterless, and Extreme Solutions Jersey Devil. Now, if you ask me, starting off with scent, the one that doesn't smell the best at this point, which is probably my oldest one, so I don't know, it could be that, but is the Aqua Waterless. It really doesn't smell like anything anymore. The other ones that come to mind as the more potent scented ones, Jersey Devil, number one, with a nice scent in it. <coughs> Adam CS3 smells very nice. And the Hyperclean Echo One, a third place in the scent department. It smells good. It's just not as potent as these two. Now, application wise, I sprayed them on liberal amounts, wiped them in, flipped the towel, wiped them off. I did that all four different ones. I used different sides of the towels. I didn't overlap the product into each other and they all felt slick but I noticed there was a difference. And the top dog in my slickness is the Atom CS3. You could just definitely tell it is super, super slick. The towel wants to glide down it. A close second would be the Hyper Clean Echo One. A close third to that is the Aqua Waterless. And a distant fourth would be the Extreme Solutions Jersey Devil. It is what it is, guys. That's the way I feel it. That's the way the towel is moving. It kind of moves on its own, and that's how that works. How about streaking? I took my light over at the end. I didn't show this on camera, but none of them had any major streaking. Usually, I would see this one as a uh, out that bottle more of a streakish type product. That's why I usually cut this one to one or one to two. Of course, today I didn't cut this at all, but. I had no streaking issues today on that glass and I used the light. Um, what else was I going to say? Another thing I want to say that's very interesting and out of these products is all three of these products here, the Jersey Devil, the Tax System and the Atoms, you can get them in gallons, but they're ready to use and you're really not diluting them. Of course, you can dilute this Aqua Waterless and it's a very, uh, it's like 70, I, I think last time I got this was 70, I think it might be $90 a gallon now, okay? These other two, you don't really dilute. I've never tried to dilute them, I've never heard of anyone else diluting them. Now, this Hyper Clean comes in a concentrated gallon or five gallon that you would dilute. Now the gallon is like $54, I think. Um, and you can cut that gallon down into a rinseless and a waterless product. The waterless would be one to one or maybe two ounces to a gallon, one ounce to a gallon, you know, that's pretty dependent on you, but you can cut it down for $54. So let's just say it's one to one, you can get two gallons out of that for $54, which brings the gallon down to 25 bucks or so. And if they have a sale, you know, you can get it even cheaper, but it's it's just about 
the only one that you can cut down that really states it from their factory to cut down. Now I know we can cut both of these down, but this one is super expensive, all right? And it doesn't say to make a rinse list out of the tax systems. So this one is the most <clears throat> versatile product out there. It is the second slickest product out of the four. The price on it is one of the cheaper ones with this being the most expensive. I think the Adams could be the second most expensive. I think that puts this one at about third place and then comes the Jersey Devil. I haven't checked how much Jersey Devil is lately, but I thought that was interesting that the HyperClean is the most versatile, dilutable, rinseless, everything else. And it is top ranked with slickness so far, no streaks, everything else. So at this point, this one is my choice. Now we're gonna check in about a week for the durability and the dusting and all that. But at the end of this video, this is the winner for me. The Adams. Just off the slickness and the scent, and I know it should have some protection. It's gonna be my second choice. The Aqua Waterless, I really, really like, but it's just too expensive. So that'll be my third choice. And just on the lack of slickness, um, the Jersey Devil's gonna be my fourth choice. I, I really am disappointed at the slickness in this product. So guys, if you have any comments or questions or anything to say, leave them in the comments below. I will come back with a part two of this video and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.